Hi, my name is Carla Sondheim, and I want to thank you so much for joining us for Kids Art Week 2019. This week, we're going to focus on sidewalk cracks as ways to start our drawing process. It's a fun way to get into drawing, and uh, let me just show you um, what they are. Um, here is a selection of prints that I printed out of photographs of cracks in sidewalks. Um, we used to live in a town where some trees had grown and um, underneath the cement sidewalk cracks and there wasn't a lot of money to fix those things. And every time I would uh, walk around, I would see like a bird or I would see some kind of dog in these shapes. And so I started photographing them and I ended up with kind of a big collection. And from there, I can find animals. Sometimes um, I find faces and other things, but animals are my favorite thing to find. Um, here's a giraffe I found from one of them. Um, they don't have to be real creatures. Here's like kind of like a, a weird bee with a little fuzzy head and some kind of weird um, animal uh, who's a little bit frustrated that the bee is about ready to sting him. Here's a guy, he's a, a little bit grouchy. And here's another bird. Birds are pretty fun to find in these sidewalk cracks. And the thing I just wanted to point out on this one is you can go outside of the photograph when you're drawing. So you can use the cracks to get you started. For example, right here, I see kind of like a pig shape. Um, it even has an eye for me, but here's like the nose and maybe a leg and an ear and a body. Um, the cracks won't show you everything, but they get you a good start. Um, before I would draw on this, though, I might turn it around and see if there's another animal that I can find in the shapes. Um, sometimes I'll just kind of stare at it for just a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and see if something else happens. Um, right now I see this could be like some, some kind of headdress, and this could be like a nose here. Um, in a body. I turn it around again. I can see a couple things. Right here I see like a little chick face with a beak here, an eye, and maybe a body and its little tail. Um, I also see kind of like a dog with maybe some ears and a body. Um, it's okay if you don't see something right away. You might just see a little bit of something. And if you see a little bit of something, start there. Um, so I always turn it all four directions. I'm going to pick one of these to work on. And this one is kind of fun, I think. Um, I, I kind of see something in this direction right away, but I always want to turn it just to make sure I'm finding the animal that I like the best. Um, what you're going to need today are some uh, colored pencils and a uh, pencil sharpener probably, and then just a regular pencil that has an eraser. And um, from there, we're gonna color our animals that we find, um, and then we're also gonna learn about a little bit about shading. Okay, so I have my crack here, and um, once again, I'm seeing something right away. I see kind of like a big snout here with maybe some ears here, um, a body with some legs, and then a little tail. So the first thing I do usually is I will um, draw the eye. Um, in this case, it has like a little um, plant here, and I think I'm gonna make that the eye just for fun. Next, I'm gonna choose some colors. Um, and the great thing about sidewalk cracks is that they're, it's almost like a little puzzle. There's all these different shapes. And so I don't have to color the whole thing red if I don't want to. I can color some of it red and some of it different colors and some of it other colors. Um, I'm gonna start by coloring his uh, snout red though. And we all know that um, it's okay to go outside of the lines. I have a habit of trying to stay in the lines, but if you go outside of the lines, that's great too. It actually shows that your animal might be moving or is a little bit messy, because some animals are messier than others, right? Okay. 
The other thing you can do is you don't have to stay inside the lines. Um, let's say I'm drawing this guy and suddenly it seems like he would be, it would be nice to have like some kind of dinosaur-like uh, shapes. I can do that too. The reason I changed colors is sometimes it's just more interesting for the eye to have different colors to look at. So please feel free to change your colors up as much as you need to. So I thought this was a leg, but really I think it's a tail now. And maybe I'm going to extend this tail a little bit. And maybe I'll do the same over here, make kind of like a horn. It's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong animal. They don't have to be real animals. They can be pretend animals. They can be um, animals that are like um, part rhinoceros, part lizard. <laughs> um, but basically, you're going to be coloring it in. And I'm going to kind of pick up my pace a little bit. So now I have the basic coloring in, and now there's a few other things that I like to do to make the animals come to life. Um, the first thing I like to do is maybe pick a darker color and add things like um, hair or scales or feathers. So um, I'm going to outline his eye first off. And I think I'll just make some hair on his snout. maybe even color his horn here a little darker. And then maybe over here there's um, kind of more like jagged sort of scales. But you're basically decorating your, um, your animal with animal-like characteristics. Or you can just do things like stripes or dots or other decorative things, okay? You might want to outline your animal at this point with the darker color. It's completely up to you. Sometimes it's nice. Okay. So now he's looking more like an animal. I'm going to darken in his eyeball here. Um, the next thing I like to do is add shading. And the first thing I do is I imagine a sun over here. Boom, 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 boom. And it's shining light down on the animal. And so my job is to make some areas that aren't in the sunlight a little bit darker. So right now, anything on the bottom of the animal would be out of sunlight. So I might just add some dark there. I can also use my pencil for this, which is really nice for um, smudging with your fingers to make it kind of smooth and, and soft. So anything on the bottom would be in shadow or not showing the sunlight. Maybe kind of like bottom of his snout here. And even the inside, right? Because the sun is kind of in the sky coming down this way. So that's the first place I put shadows. And the second place I might put them is on under or around the eyes. And this gives a really nice, um, you know, our eyes, we're in, we have, they're kind of set back in, in the head usually. And so there's a little bit of a shadow around them. And so that also helps bring the eye out even more. So that is the basic assignment. I'd like you to do three of these, and you can get your cracks three ways. You can go outside if you live in a neighborhood that has sidewalk cracks and take your own photos and print them out. Um, or you can print out the ones that I provided um, on, 
on the internet. <laughs> um, I have 15 different designs and you can choose any of them to do that you want. Or we've also created a book that you can, um, that you can purchase and that has um, 150 total sidewalk cracks, 10 each of uh, 15 designs, and that could keep you busy for a long time. And these you could just tear right out and use them like worksheets. So I hope you have fun with your first assignment of Kids Art Week. Draw three animals with three different cracks using colored pencils, pencil, and um, eraser. And um, I can't wait to see what you do. Please post on Facebook if you like, and we'll see you tomorrow.